Um, so I was watching Fox, Fox News over there. Well, watching a Fox News clip. I don't watch whole news segments. I don't got enough time to do that. But I was watching a Fox News clip and uh, watching Jesse Waters. He was interviewing Tulsi Gabbard. And they were talking about how the, uh, you know, the Democrats, the left, how they act towards the right whenever the Democrats get in power, um, you know, weaponizing the government, things like that. Um, and he, he basically had asked her, uh, should the Republicans do the same when they get back in power? And, and of course, she doesn't believe they should, and, and that's right, you know. Um, uh, the Democrats' behavior is, is, you know, was un- illegal, unconstitutional, and, and some of it's illegal. Um, you know, weaponizing the government. You know, Obama did that. Well, the Obama administration, you know, they used the IRS to target, you know, conservatives, uh, Tea Party or- organizations. Uh, you know, that was wrong. Uh, surveilling, even now, surveilling soldiers. Uh, because of their political beliefs is wrong. Um, I mean, they, they need to... Uh, I think the Republicans, they need to hold the Democrats accountable. Not, not do like they're doing. What they're doing is unconstitutional, illegal. Uh, the Republicans certainly don't need to behave like that when they get back in power. That That's not the answer. That's just going to, I think, create more distrust between the, uh, and a greater divide between the government and, and the people. Uh, what the Republicans do need to do is hold the Democrats, can make them answer. It's time that they answer for their they get any, like Jesse Waters saying they're getting a free pass. They don't need to get a free pass anymore. The Republicans need to, need to say enough of this. Go after the ones who broke the law. And, 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 it, and it's, you know, it's not hard to figure out. I mean, there's clear evidence. I mean, Hunter Biden's laptop. Hunter Biden broke the law. Go after him for it. Uh, and, and if Joe Biden broke the law, if President Biden broke the law, then, then go after him too. You know, maybe we need to look at, you know, impeaching 46. Um, you know, Maxine Waters, you know, what she said, she broke the law. You can't tell your constituents to uh, get in people's faces and get confrontational. You can't say that. That's it's illegal. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, you know, saying throw a punch. You gotta be willing to take a punch. You gotta be willing to throw a punch. You can't say that. That's illegal. You can't say that. Uh, that's not speech that's protected under the First Amendment. You can't go tell your constituents to go around punching people. That's illegal. Uh, Chuck Schumer. Well, in Chuck Schumer's case, saying, you know, you open Pandora's box and there will be consequences. Alright, that... That, that that really that, that could be protected by the First Amendment. I, mean, I had to be fair about it. That could be protected under the First Amendment. Uh, you know, there will be consequences. That could that isn't necessarily saying get violent. That could mean you know uh, you could face impeachment. You could get fired. Uh, you could uh, you know whatever the case may be. It doesn't necessarily mean a call for violence. Do I personally feel like he meant it as a call for violence? That yes, but that's me. That's how I personally feel. Uh, you know, I seen the tape there where, where he said that, and, and to me personally, it seemed like it felt like a call to violence. But you know, Trump saying you had to fight. You know, in his speech, you know, the left took that personally as a call to violence, uh, even though it wasn't. Um, but, yeah, so that, that's kind of a, I, I could say that it's a gray area there, but, I mean, you can't mistake get in people's faces and get confrontational. There's no mistake there. That's that's illegal. Can't say that. There's no mistake about throw up. What does throw a punch mean? Yeah. Uh, now, the Democrats just need to, uh, I mean, the Republicans need to, they just need to get in there and, and, and stop this free pass for the Democrats. You know, stop, you know, stop letting them get away with this. Don't do like they're doing. That's you know don't don't stoop to their level. Just hold them accountable for going to that level. Um, prosecutions where there needs to be uh, investigations. You know, put some committees to get, put some committees together uh, and do some investigating. But uh, just let them know that they 
can't behave like this anymore. They're not going to get away with it. You know. But anyway, that, that's my thoughts on that. I just wanted to, to get that out there real quick. You know, no, the Republicans don't need to behave like the Democrats are behaving now. The Republicans need to make the Democrats answer for their behavior. Anyway, i got to get back to work. Uh, sorry about the lighting. I work nights, uh, and I'm in my work truck. And the battery is, uh... Well, they probably need to replace the battery in this truck. It's not really charging like it's supposed to. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Bye.